Hello everyone. Welcome to Badass ABCs for Adults by Happiness Homemade for You. Thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel and for liking us on Facebook. This is lesson number one. Get ready to learn the letters of the alphabet. This is lesson G1, capital G, lowercase g. G is for gimlet. G I M L E T. All right, here let's go with the letter G. Lesson one, alphabet identification. Let's check out this shape. Yes, it is very much like the capital letter C, only we're going to have this extra feature here. Let's see what it looks like on our coloring sheet style. We've got that big round, half, almost a circle, and then we've got this line coming up in here. Okay, let's check out the sound G as in giraffe. G does make a couple of different sounds. One of the sounds that it makes is giraffe. And let's see what our cocktail is going to be. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, and here's your other main sound that a G makes, which is G. The cocktail that we're going to have for this lesson G is going to be a gimlet. Uh, which those of you who are watching that television show Mad Men, uh, a gimlet um, made a cameo appearance in quite a few episodes and it is basically gin. It is a gin cocktail and again there's our letter G, J, gin. So I'm looking forward to when we get to drink that. Okay, let's check out our fonts and look for those basic shapes no matter how artistic it is, what is that main element of the letter G? Is that circle? And I see a line in here. Okay, let's see how it looks on this style font, which I think is like my tattoo font or something. So here's my capital G. Here's our lowercase g. That'll be fun. It's going to go below the bottom line. All right. Okay, so how did they do this in our psychedelic style? We've got a major circle action happening here, but we still have this line. Okay, let's see. Big circle. We've got a line and then a nice decorative element below the line. Here we go. I see that circle, and I've got this shelf right in there circle and the line going to the side. All right, it's getting clearer and clearer. Big circle and a line. Big circle, line. Big circle, curving in. There we go. Let's take a close-up of this is how you're going to sign the letter G and take a close look. Okay, first of all, let's do how you sign the letter G. You've got your pointer finger out and your thumb out. Remember when you were doing the letter F and you had these um, in a circle, the, your fingers were touching. Here on the letter G, it's going to go straight out, straight out, and you've got your, the rest of your fingers bent. So that's how you sign the letter G, but I want you to look at this letter G because you are going to see this a lot. There are quite a few fonts that we use here in the United States. I don't know about other countries, but here in the United States where this is going to be the shape of the letter G, I have never, ever, ever seen anybody for any reason write with handwriting, with a pen, a marker, anything like that a letter G this way, but it's good to know this shape uh, because you will see it as um, something that's typed. Okay, so just be prepared and you'll see that the main element is that there's a circle and this underneath the bottom line actually 
um, when we practice our handwriting here in a minute. This is a lowercase typed G. Um, so just don't get confused. You'll see this, but it's a, it's a prettier, actually it's an old-fashioned version of the letter G. Okay, I'll be right back and let's practice writing the letter G together. All right, badass ABCers, let's start with our font worksheets and get my markers going while you have your paper ready. Uh, free on the Facebook page, Happiness Homemade for You. Let's see, did I get my markers here? Okay, and we've got, here we are, we're getting there. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's how far we are. And let's look at, again, the main elements that are going to be required in order to make the letter G. We're going to come around town, just like we were doing the capital letter C. And watch how I draw that. I'm going to come back down this way. That's how I'm used to writing it. Let's see if that works. Circle around. And I'm kind of imagining where it is, because there's the curve. G. Got a big old circle. G. Big circle. Almost a whole circle. Get that little shelf in there. How far in does it go? On this one, that little shelf goes in quite a ways. Over here, it doesn't. Over here, it doesn't go that far in. The way that they did it in this Art Deco style is you come around, <coughs> excuse me, and they went halfway in. But they also started that circle at a different area, but it's kind of geometric. That's the way that Art Deco style was. Let's take a look at our Art Nouveau. We're going to come around a big circle, and it just loops right in there. Ooh, I hope you can see that. Okay, let's save that. Getting used to the shape of this letter G. Oh, and I forgot to point out, here is more of a modern, lower case style G. All right, and I saved it. Let's check out the second group of fonts that we have to practice our letter G. And I'll get set up with my marker. And we're going to practice this basic block style G first. Big circle. Ooh, what happened? My mouse got stuck. What? <coughs> mouse malfunction. Let's bring it back again. Pardon me. Nice big circle. Okay, and then a line coming out. That is sloppy. Let's make sure that we are getting this element. What is it? It's a circle and two lines. Can't always see it in every style of font. We can see this line easily. Circle around. Come through. <clears throat> Looking at our psychedelic G big circle and they got that line right in there big circle this is a real pretty one line comes out and then a line down okay depending on your font style you may or may not have this line that comes back down okay so let's see in the Danelian style if they have this line that comes back down Let's see what we are going to be learning. Close that and open up our handwriting Danelian print version. Zoom it in and let you guys take a peek at what that looks like in the Danelian style while I grab my markers. Get there and get me down to the right size. Okay, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. Okay, well, in the style that I learned when I was in school, we always had to add the line here. But for Danelian, we are not going to do that. Yeah, lucky bastards, lucky bastards. Easy peasy, we can do this. 
Okay, now look at how Danelian does not give me a second arrow. So they're saying this is going to be just one movement. Um, those of you who are watching this, who are old school like I am, uh, it might be difficult for you if you're the tutor. So, you know, call it either way. Whatever the student is comfortable with. I mean, we're all grown ups here. So, if you have to do, you know, it's going to be difficult for me to do Danelian style and not do this in two swings. I usually do one swing. You saw me do it all the way through the last two worksheets. But Danelian's going to have you do it straight. Your call, your comfort zone. Remember to turn that paper at a slight tilt if you're uh, working on a table. See if that helps you. All right, so it's a slight angle. We're just going to come around just like we did with the letter C and go in right about halfway. Right about half of that circle is how we're going to how far we're going in for the generic standard of a capital letter G. Now, this is cool. We're going to start off and you already know this shape. You practiced it with the letter A, you practiced it with the letter D. Now we're going to add a cool tail underneath and then it'll become a lower case G. So watch right at that midline we're going to come around go back up to the midline and come back down and now we get to swing it down lowercase g let's do these two times together this is kind of cool and for the most part we've got the basic shapes down that are used in our alphabet it's base mostly it is straight lines and circles <clears throat> variations of straight lines and circles so you are already mastering you have already mastered the main elements that you're going to be coming across for the rest of the alphabet awesome here we go capital G just like we're making a big C and get to that midpoint and go in oh, I should go a little bit more huh Okay, lowercase g, midpoint, we're going to go down, come back around, and go under. Again, you're wondering how far down you go. Here is my next row, okay, and you're not going to go past this midline. So yeah, when you print this worksheet, when we have letters that go below the bottom line, yeah, you're not going to have as many, so maybe print two. Maybe print two of these worksheets because you're going to lose this line. Unless, let's do my second pra our second practice on the next row. If you intersperse them, let's see. I'm going to do a quick G up top. Oh, a sloppy G and a lowercase G. Okay, but what I can do on my second line is instead of writing it right underneath each other I'm gonna do my let's do the second G together here I'm gonna start here hit the top come back around get to the midpoint and put a line in lowercase g come around like we're doing a letter A but instead of giving it a tail, we're going to go downtown and go underneath that line. Okay. All right. Uh, hopefully this one is easier for you since we have now learned major points that are required to make the letter G. Okay. I'm going to save that and let's, let's see what the cursive version is like. Let's see if there's any surprises in here. Yes, there is. Well, well, well. Well, just when we were thinking the rest of the alphabet was just going to be perfectly easy, we get to have some extra fun with a capital G. I will let you check out that capital G again. <clears throat> Excuse me. While I am grabbing the marker and getting it down to the right size. Okay. 
Capital G is one of my favorite capital letters to write in cursive because you got to swing it all over the place, all over the place. You think you're going in one direction, no, and then you change the, it's like a salsa. I don't know how to describe it. It's like I'm going and I'm jamming in one way and I'm going to come back the other way. Watch how it works. Capital G starts at the bottom and you're going to swing it all the way to the top and then you got to come up here like you are just throwing your arm out. You just got, for the ladies, you just got spun out on the dance floor and then you fling your arm out and accidentally hit the person next to you. You got to swing this out. Now come back down and we're going to give it that little shelf like we did right there on the capital letter F. Okay? Now look at this, letter G, thankfully this is, this is quite repetitive. We're going to start at the bottom and yes, you have done this same shape in the letter A. And instead of giving it a tail, you're going to come back down around and give it a loop. And it has to have a hole on the bottom. So let me see, now I'm, I'm a little bit stuck here because I'm on the computer. So I might have to make it a little bit bigger than I normally would just so that I can permanently lock in a hole so that you can see it for reference. Okay, there we go. All right, just like we went below the line on the lowercase letter F, right? But we're swinging a different direction, but nevertheless, we're, this is not new to us either to have to go below the line and to make sure that we have a hole. Okay, but this capital letter G is kind of a newbie. This uh, shelf we're repeating, but let's, this is going to be the tricky part, is getting up here and then having to get this little wing on this capital letter. All right, but we've got a whole page to practice. We're going to do two runs practicing together. We start at the bottom, swing all the way to the top, I'm going to come back to the halfway line. Whoa, I didn't do it. I didn't make it to the halfway line because I was too busy paying attention to you. Swing all the way to the top. Come back to that half line. And I'm going to make this wing out here. Whoop, not too high. Oh, look at that. Oh, I got to practice, huh? I got to practice. What did I do wrong? I'm too high here and I didn't make it to the bottom here. You can see as a whole, I didn't quite hit the shape. I didn't quite hit the shape. Now normally I would just continue if I was writing on a piece of paper, but since I only get to do two with you, I'm going to erase and I'm going to try one more time, see if I can get the basic shape down, get my wing, go all the way to the bottom and give me a shelf. All right, that's a lot better. Okay, let's do our lowercase g, which is starting to get familiar to us. Come around, make that circle, and now we're going to get to go below the line and get this coming this way, right? Because we're going to scoop into other letters that are in our word. All right, let's go ahead and, like I said, it's one of my favorite capital letters. It's okay if it isn't yours. But this, I just love, this one just takes you in so many different directions. So we start at the bottom, go to the top, give it a big wing over here, come back to the bottom, and give it that shelf. And I apologize on my example here. Yes, that shelf has to come back through this line. Why? because it is going to swing into the next letter. Okay, let's say, let's say for example, glad. I'm glad that we are working on the letter G right now. I'm coming back around and then if I was doing the word glad, I would hit the bottom again, do the letter L. Here is the letter A that you know and here is the letter D that you know. Oh, I ran into my printer. <laughs> That's why my, I can't move anymore. <laughs> okay, with my mouse, I ran into my printer. All right, so make sure that this shelf 
is going to cross that original line. Okay, let me get this out of the way so we can practice a lowercase g together. Here we go. It starts at the bottom. We hit the midline, like we're, and then we come back around, like we're making an A. And then we go underneath, give it a, a hoop, and come back around. And I'm going to compare to my my example over here. And yeah, I'm a little bit fat. A little bit chunky on the chunky on the bottom. Know what I'm saying? I can see on the example, right, that my the hole that I have in the top portion of the lowercase g is wider. It needs to be wider. I need to be heavier on top than on the bottom. You got a big, big top and kind of skinny on the bottom. Okay? So as you practice, um, practice makes perfect. And uh, I have also noticed, and I've done this myself too, when you are practicing, and just like I did, you go back and you're like, oh, I, oh, I, I'm, I'm doing this particular mistake over and over and over again. How do I correct it? The best way to correct it is you come back and you go and you trace over the example again so that you feel where it is that you're out of the racetrack, right? It, 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 to me, it feels like a racetrack, right? So if you ever feel like, oh, one of these elements, I'm, I'm really messing it up and I'm not feeling it, go right back and trace, okay? Let's see. That is it for our worksheets for the letter G. And we are going to see you in lesson two, which is the cuss word of the day. Our phoneme boot camp where we use learn any other sounds that the letter G makes. So far we know it's J and G. We'll see if there's any other sounds that the letter G makes. And we're going to be having gimlets soon. And I have no idea what the cuss word of the day is. I can't remember what it is. All right, we'll see you and find out. Thank you for watching Badass ABCs by Happiness Homemade for You. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, A.